force constant of a spring. Now we are going to find the force constant of a effective mass of a helical spring by using a method of oscillation and empty square graph method. It works on the principle of force constant. Apparatus Retard stand, meter scale, helical spring, weights of each 50 grams, hook and a stopwatch. Hang a mass of 100 grams to a helical spring by using a hook. Note it as M1. Left it freely. The point shows at the point on the scale which is taken as a main position of a mass M1. Now pull the weight vertically downwards and left it freely. It makes some oscillations. By using stopwatch, we can measure the time taken of 10 oscillations. Repeat all these steps 2 to 3 times to get exact time period and the average of all these 3 trials taken as time period T1. Add 100 grams of mass to a helical spring. Now we get mass M2 200 grams. Hang it to spring by using hook. Suspend it freely. Pointer shows at the point called mean point M2. Now pull the weight downward direction and release it gently. By using stopwatch, take a time period of for 10 oscillations. Repeat it for 2 to 3 times to get a true value of time period T2. Add 100 grams of mass to a helical spring. Now we get M3 mass as 300 grams. Hang it to the spring by using hook. Suspend it freely. Pointer shows a point called mean point M3. Now pull the load M3 downward direction and release it gently. By using a stopwatch, take the time period for 10 oscillations. Repeat for 2 to 3 times to get a true time period T3. Tablet all the readings. We can find the force constant K1, K2, K3 by using a formula. We can find effective mass of a helical spring. We can also draw MT square graph M1, M2, M3 on X axis and T1, T2, T3 on Y axis. Precautions Time should be measured accurately. Conscious that pointer should not touch the scale. Load should be weighted within the elastic limit. Avoid parallax error.